Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 101. As you know, every 3D artist is always one step away to becoming a game developer. So today, let's jump away from the 3D art world into the game development world and talk about Fab. So every month, Epic Games, the owners of Unreal Engine and the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which is now fab.com, always do these giveaways but mostly for game development but uh, as you know game content can be used in 3d applications like blender they do these giveaways once every month so today they are giving away three projects uh there is this engine's whole vegetation some character assets and we're going to be taking a look at all of them in unreal engine and also in blender so the first one is this amazing forest environment that includes a lot of trees grass vegetation and some water shaders unfortunately the shaders can only work in unreal engine so you can't export them and use them in blender for example because they all use a different shading system and the second one is this military mercenary bandit which is a collection of characters dressed up in different military attires now the great thing about this one is that uh, it comes in different formats including unreal engine unity and blender so with this you can just download the project as a blend file and use it directly inside blender without doing any exporting from unreal to blender now for the other projects they are strictly unreal engine but i'm also going to show you a way to to export the assets you want and use them inside blender to use it you just click download if it has multiple download formats it will give you an option to download the format you want if you're using blender obviously you, you can download the blend file here or just use any of the other exchange formats available okay so this is the project and uh, you can see that uh, we get a few characters here that are well detailed i can go to wireframe and uh, just take a look at the meshes uh, they are really really well optimized because they are mostly intended for use in game engines so their mesh are really really optimized but still capturing a lot of detail you even get a rig for the character rig so if i tab into that i can easily pause and animate this character as i want we only have one rig but uh, we have multiple characters so if say you want to use this character instead of uh, this instead of this character we want to use this character all you have to do is just select the character that is paused and use shift s cursor selected to bring the cursor to the pivot point and then select any character you want for example this guy here and i just move them to this position and now all i have to do is parent them to the amateur so i'm just going to select this character and then the amateur use ctrl p and then use parent tool with automatic weights and that will deform that character using the amateur we have so i can hide the original one uh, which should be this yeah and now you can see that uh, i now have are the two characters ready so for the projects that don't have a blend file basically that only use unreal engine you have to have unreal engine installed and now you can see when i click download it will just direct me to the epic launcher where i can access uh, the project and then create a project in unreal engine and that way you can add any of the packages you want so let me create a new project here a new blank project so blank uh, let me call it uh, demo creates now we have a new project opened now let's add in the different contents we have downloaded so i can go under the epix game launcher I want this tr vegetation tree i can click on add to project and select what project i want this to be added into uh, it's called demo so i'll just select that and add to project so now it has done that i can come here and you can see we already have the trees and assets here so i can drag the tree drop it in and uh, i have a tree now I can hit f to center it and uh, this is how that looks like most of these projects always come with a demo project so that you can take a look at and see how things can be combined together so let's go to that just go into the package and try and look for the overview level and uh, just open that up i'm just going to i don't need to save so this is the demo project for this you can see we have some water shaders you can just click on the play button and enter game mode uh, that way you will be able to navigate through uh, the game level and uh, just take a look at all of these assets so that's not all we also had this engine hall project so i'm also going to add that so just click on add project and select the demo project or whatever project you're working on add to project and i'm also going to show you how you can use some of these assets inside blender so it has finished now we can go to to the project and uh, if you don't see any levels make sure that in your filters you have levels enabled now i'm just going to go to one of these let's go to the 
engine hall and you can see what we have to really appreciate this work of art just click the play button and just look at this amazing piece of work we have some engine assets and there are some smoke assets unfortunately we can just export those directly into blender i uh, it does need a lot of work to to do that since they use different unreal engine systems uh, to, to work but uh yeah, you can see the detail in the textures, the details in, mat in the materials, the, the assets as well. So let's take a look at how you can export them into Blender. I'm going to escape out of this using escape. And instead, instead of just selecting an object here, let me just go to the level overview and open that so that I can take a look at all the different systems or different objects that make up this. I really love this asset. So let's say we want to export this to you to Blender. Just select it, go under File, Export Selected. You want to use the GLTF format that will also set up the materials for you instead of using FBX, which just exports the mesh only. So after that, just click Save, and uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the other things. And then export. Now we can go to Blender, and I can go under File, Import. GLTF and select that. Now you can see my engine. Now let's go to the materials and look at that. A really well detailed object. So if you were lacking detail in your scene, now you know how you can leverage free assets from, from the Unreal Engine Marketplace or Fab. Uh, that way you can have really detailed scenes. So if you want to check this out, links are going to be in the description and uh, also don't forget to check out my my geometry nodes course uh, i'm constantly updating it with new material so make sure to check that out see you in the next video thank you